The American Egyptian Women of Influence podcast aims to be the American Egyptian culture podcast of choice. We believe that our knowledge and our participants' stories will greatly enhance understanding of both cultures. I'm Karen Leggett Aburaya. Growing up in Cairo, the youngest of eight children, Ida Mahdi helped her mother bake for family, friends, and people in need. She studied accounting in Egypt and immigrated to the United States in 1981. Ida turned first to interior decorating, but later turned to her passion, cooking and baking, with her company, Cooking and Beyond. Ida, you learned many of your skills as an entrepreneur, chef, and caterer with Empowered Women International, and then became a board member for this group. How did EWI help you and, and other women? I joined, uh, I joined EWI uh, about like six, seven years ago, and I, um, I started as a, a board member, a volunteer and then board member and then a student or like an entrepreneur. And I started my food business, which was like an, a passion since I was a little girl. And I didn't realize that uh, I've been using food to connect people and to ease discussions between people and to um, bring food at the best, like even at the look and everything. And I, when I go back to these days, I remember now how effective for people, how they love it. And uh, I started to move it to a different step, which is like a professional step. So I started my company which is uh, cooking and beyond, and I start to um, uh, to start actually to sell food to stores, and in the meantime to use food to help other uh, communities uh, through uh, NGOs, and uh, it was very successful because usually people get attracted to food, and then you can actually start to have discussions about uh, connect their background, with their background, culture, ethnic. So it, food to me, it's just like not like a delicious thing you eat and enjoy, but it's, um, it's, it's a very good tool to connect people together. I bet you've used your culinary skills for fundraising and education, and as you just explained, for connecting. And one major beneficiary from the sales of your travel planner and cookbook, Heart to Heart, is Sir Magdi Yakub's Heart Center in Aswan, Egypt. Why is that hospital spe- special to you? Okay, I always believe in the the pillars of any community, any place in the world, a village, a big city, um, anything in between. It's the kids, the children, and the woman and woman. So children, because if you have a good, healthy kids, this is going to be the future of any uh, place. And woman. They have a huge role uh, to support families, to raise those kids. So when I heard about um, uh, like young kids, I always go to orphans uh, all over the, the place whenever I, I see how can I help them because I feel they are the future. And with the Heart Center, uh, this um, center uh, treats kids uh, actually, they cannot even, they were born with like a heart deficiency and they just like saved them when they were babies and they became like, like a normal, good, uh, you know, like individual in the, in, in the community. And what are a couple of the other ways that you have taken your culinary schools into the community as a, as a connecting force? Um, you know, whenever I, um, I heard about something, um, like it, it adds to the person as a human, I always get involved. Uh, and also, being from Egypt, came from a, a country with a really like deep history. Uh, so I, I felt like even I can introduce my country through my food, my culinary. And actually, it worked. A lot of people, sometimes they see it in a different way in the media, but when they see someone from that part, and you start like to give them some food or like, you know, some really connect people and it gives them like a different prospect, totally different prospect. Um, I also get even um, more involved when I travel. I go to um, centers there, like one of the centers, the vocational centers or the vocational school in Egypt. 
and it's um i start like to give uh, uh introduce like a program about food safety and handling and people will just like learn how to protect themselves how to from like food um, poison you know like food uh, contaminations and how to protect their family because at the end it turned out to be going back to the family to the kids to you know so i think when you are healthy and aware of what's going on around you and be try to protect yourself and your family and get like healthier individuals this is going to lead to a healthy um society at the end and you have also presented uh both culinary demonstrations and cooking classes in in Baltimore and to students in Baltimore and at the African Museum of Art when you teach uh, at the museum or or at the schools with the kids what do you especially enjoy about sharing your your culinary skills with with the public i enjoy the look at their faces <laughs> and uh when they start like to taste what i'm doing and i see that like you know uh something it it came like a surprise to them uh and it this is like the best joy and i uh, even with the kids with little kids like they know where is egypt and they see it on the map and they taste and this is like amazing i think this something maybe will will stay with them um even with everybody even like my next door neighbors um but especially with like kids again this is like my passion like i want to start from the beginning and i feel like it's a double joy like you know to me and again uh after the class when i see people coming and just like say things like i i never like imagine that you know or uh, pictures i will hear it it makes me very very like happy i feel like it's a mission accomplished like you know i did like uh, uh, i i did what i i really want to do like you know it's a very satisfying uh feeling um, excellent yeah. well, well that's that's great and we're very happy talking with you and and we wish you bon appetit and we'll provide Thank the uh, the website so that everybody can can look up your recipes and your comments. Thank you very much, Ida. Yeah, and in Arabic it's Bilhana wa Shifa, which is just like in good health. And uh thank you so much for having me.